Hey YouTube, um, and I just want to say a special shout out to all the kids out there watching my channel. Um, thanks guys for watching. I make a lot of videos specifically for kids. Um, but this one, like many of my other ones, this one is going to talk about some adult subjects. So, um, you might get bored. <laughs> so you can skip it. I'm not dancing around doing too much fun stuff. I'm shaking up a boost. Um, but anyway, okay, so I talk about a lot of adult s stuff on here, like incontinence, which is when um, your bladder doesn't work right. My legs, from the waist down, um, <laughs> and from the waist up now, because my hands have started to go numb over the past few years. Um, and so, anyway, my body doesn't work um, like a normal person, <laughs> like a normal body. Well, maybe not normal, because I don't think there's any such thing as normal. We all just have different bodies, and I think that's okay. You know, everybody has something in mind. Um, it just doesn't, like the legs from the waist down, I have a lot of numbness. I have spasms sometimes. My legs will stiffen like that, and I can't bend my knees. Um, sometimes now my hands, occasionally, it's, it's rare, thankfully, but... Um, sometimes my hands will lock up, um, but that's just my body, <laughs> you know, it has a mind of its own. And so, anyway, um, one of the issues that I often struggle with is incontinence, where my, you know, I can't hold my pee in, um, I just pee on myself, um, but I take medications for it, which help, um, but, and I've, tried diapers in the past, which I talk about in some of my other videos and stuff. However, the downside to using diapers is that, um, adults aren't made to wear diapers. Like, I mean, I know that I was all excited about it, and if you watch those videos, um, where I'm talking all about diapers and how awesome they are, it's true. Like, I felt it at the time, but now at this time, I feel... Like, um, okay, there's a reason why adults stop wearing diapers, because they're uncomfortable, um, you know, they aren't. But, I mean, it does help when you can't control your bladder, when you can't, like, as sometimes, I, as soon as I think about, like, as soon as I feel the urge to go to the restroom, then, um, you know, it's happened where I'll, I'll just pee on myself right then, like, I can't control it, um, but now I've started using catheters um, on a kind of a regular basis. The problem right now, my toilet in this apartment is one of the regular toilets. So I can't use, I can't really use the catheters um, in the toilet now. I've, I'm thinking about a catheter, just in case you don't know. Catheter is like basically a little straw. And instead of your body releasing the urine on its own, you stick this little straw up there where, um, where the pee comes out and then, you know, the, it just makes the pee come out the straw and you don't have to, I don't know, push it out, I guess. So anyway, um, I've been using catheters and they're working really good, but I can't do them at my apartment unless I try using them in the chair. So I have these things called chucks or, um, anyway, disposable bed liners. I've talked about those in some of my videos too, but, um, my disposable bed liners, I could put on the wheelchair. I, that's, that's what I need to do. I need to remember to use it, sit on the wheelchair and then try cathing, um, into a bottle or something. I think that will be a, a practical way that I can cast uh, here in my apartment before my case manager with Medicare, the access program, he's working on getting me like an extended toilet bowl and seat. Um, but until then, I'm, I've got to learn how to do it in my chair. Um, which, it can't be that hard. I mean, it's probably even easier than transferring to the toilet and then, um, trying to do it there. Or maybe I could cath in my chair and just put the other end, <laughs> the other end of the straw, the part where the pee comes out, put that in the toilet bowl. Maybe I could, like, cath 
all the way to the toilet. Try it. I'll try all different sorts of steps. Who, who knows? Um, and that's what I just went to the urologist today. Um, I have to, I don't know. They gave me some more cats. I didn't have a bladder infection, which is cool. Um, I thought that I did because, uh, like, since my waist, from the waist down, I'm pretty, I have a lot of numbness, which is weird because I have a lot of pain too. So like somewhere in between, if I, if I don't feel it, then I, I, I don't know. It's weird. Like, how can you feel pain when your legs are numb? How, it's like, anyway, it's weird. So I can't feel on the outside. Maybe I can feel on the inside and the inside hurts outside. I don't know what's going on. I can't feel sometimes certain areas where like something touches anyway um so where was I going with that um, um, um yeah I forgot it sometimes <laughs> look look there it goes it's going my thought that's what I do when, <laughs> when my, I just forget what I'm saying in the middle of a sentence because it's you know I have MS I have cognition problems cognition is the way that you think about stuff um so now i have like a brain that thinks <laughs> i don't know i have a brain that has a mind of its own too so um anyway my body including my brain just does what it wants and sometimes i forget what i'm talking about because you know my brain <laughs> is off on some other tangent so we gotta just let it go let it go to pie thought. Um, anyway, I don't know what I was talking about. And what was the point of making this video? Oh, to talk about cats. I already did that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, it's getting long anyway. All right. Bye.